Welcome, welcome, welcome to Storytime with me, Vishila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today, look it, it's the fall. Look at the beautiful colors. So the story I'm going to read today is called Sing to the Moon on this beautiful staircase in the woods. <laughs> so let's get into it. If I had one wish, I would reach the stars, then ride a supernova nova straight to the Mars. Jara told me, sing to the moon and perhaps my wish will be granted soon. With another wish, I would still go far across the ocean to Zanzibar. I would sail on a Dilo and gaze in wonder at Old Spice Markets till the sun goes under. If I had more wishes, I would surely fly. I would take the creative crane up high. After spotting the forest mystical beast, I would land at dusk for a monstrous feast. Look at the cake, y'all. Instead, I'd wake to the patter of rain and watch the clouds spread like a charcoal stain. I think of the hours with nothing to do except count the drops as they muddle the view. Have you ever felt that way when it rains a lot? Look at, oh, I think he wants to go out and play. There's his grandpa. But then I hear steps on the kitchen floor. So slowly I open the wooden door. Jara is drinking his hot morning tea and tells me, that he has been waiting for me. I wonder why. As we eat porridge, I glare at the gloom, announcing that I'm going back to my room. Jarrah stands tall and in one, two, three, holds out his hand and says, let's go and see. You can go. Yeah. We start in the storeroom to pack away peas, picked when the fields were last humming with bees. Jawa remembers his childhood best friend, a boy called Karo, whose smile did not end. Look at that's tons of peas. We clear the veranda of wet bamboo leaves while Jawa recalls climbing up guava trees. Whoa! I say I love hiding in guava trees too, and he tells me that's something he never knew. The sun slowly sets and the day splits in two. I help clean um, fish for the fish stew. Jawa sh sh shares memories of trips as a child when he and his father would fish in the wild. With daylight now gone and the dark settled in, Jawa says, our night adventures begin. He slowly unveils his tall tower of books where he has stacked stories of bold kings and crooks. Whoa, look at that story time. By the light of a candle, we turn over pages of long old fables passed down through the ages. Tales of lost cities and great heaps of gold, African kingdoms and sights to behold. And then Jara leaps to his feet to retell the story of how the sky rose and then fell. He thrills me with thunderous bangs and kabooms, then shoes me outside with a brilliant night cruise. We hear fire dance and the echo of drums, friends making meals and the grasshoppers hum. And Jara reminds me that I'm always loved by even the brightest of the stars up above. With one last glance at the sh shiny night sky, we bid the sweet sounds of the evening goodbye. I know then that even new worlds far away couldn't compare to this on a rainy day. And with a tired yawn, I stumble to bed where I'm tucked in with a kiss to my head. And like every night before leaving the room, Jara says quietly, sing to the moon. Isn't that beautiful? What a great story. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time with me, Michelle. Keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.